Hello and welcome back. We're on the end of shelf four. So here we have, this is Thrill Seeker. He is the last of the Briar Connoisseur horses. It was a series that they did for several years where they made 350 very highly detailed horses who had a little bit of extra mapping on their pinto, nice intricate pinto pattern, some dappling. This is the last horse in the series, and it's the first where they did kind of a factory custom thing where they brought his tail around and um, actually customized the mold a little bit. So this is Thrill Seeker. I did get drawn for him. You would enter um, to be drawn to purchase the horse. I got drawn to purchase him. This is um, Mosaic. This is the first horse in the Connoisseur series. And you can see he just blew our minds when he came out with that really, really intricate, detailed pinto pattern and the mapping and just gorgeous. They did a, Briar did a knock them out of the ballpark paint job on him. I did not get drawn for Mosaic. Um, so I looked for years to purchase another one, but they are very expensive because they are very popular. So I bought him actually at a yard sale, the same yard sale that I bought that Fighting Stallion lamp from. It was a very good sale, like I said. And you can see this is the regular tail um, on this mold that they customized. So that was kind of their little marketing shtick. They, Mosaic on the Lonesome Glory was the first connoisseur horse and Thrill Seeker was the last. This is a, I believe, Briarfest prize model. This is the glossy buckskin on call teak from 2007. I'm a sucker for the glossies and the metallics and the buckskins and the chestnuts. So um, I was looking for him for years. And when one finally came available for what I considered a reasonable price, I snatched him up because I think he is a gorgeous horse. And I think he won one of my other prize models, whether it was at Briar West or another show, but he's, he's swept the competition quite a few times. I wanted to say this is paparazzi from the Briar special event. He is, however, not marked. So I can't swear that's who he is, but I'm pretty sure. Um, he's a really nice dappled light chestnut or um, light palomino. And he is a special run and I thought I knew who he was and then I pulled him off the shelf and I wasn't sure, but we'll go with it. He's another pretty horse. <laughs> um, so then on to the uh, Arabian mares. The family Arabian mare is not my favorite mold, but I do have quite a few of them. How many do I have? I have four. So who is this? This is not a family Arabian mare. This is the ultra rare in between mare. The original, as we saw, Proud Arab Mare um, was withdrawn due to copyright infringement from Hagen Reneker. So Breyer went to Peter, uh, Chris Hess and said, hey Chris, can you sculpt us another horse? And so he sculpted this and they went, um, can you like try, go back and try again? This isn't really very horsey looking. Um, and so he went back to the drawing board and he came up with what we know as the family Arabian Mare. So this horse, this in-between mare, is very rare. She was never officially released. And she looks very similar to the family Arabian mare, but the difference is in the tail. The tail attaches to her butt and then kind of swishes out in the back here. She has been found in wood grain. Um, I'm not sure if there's been a Palomino, but there has been chestnuts and there has been the glossy gray Appaloosa. So next time you see um, uh, what you think is a family Arabian mare in the original glossy color, pick it up and check the tail. You just never know what you might find. I did not find her in the wild. I bought her on eBay. I'm a collector and that's what I do is I collect. So family Arabian mares. This is the special run black. It was, I think, a Congress special run. They did the whole family Arabian family. Um, so the stallion, the mare and the foal in solid black. They are very popular because they are such an old special run and they didn't make a lot of them. And so they're very, very popular. I found her at the Alameda flea market in kind of a pile of other horses. So you never know where you're going to find them. This is what's called the um, family or this is the five gator sorrel family Arabian mare. So you can see why this is the five gator sorrel color. It's kind of a pale chestnut with that pale chestnut mane and tail. 
she is matte and the other distinguishing feature is she has a bald face. So this is exceptionally rare. They did the whole Arabian family, stallion, mare, and foal in this color, but for a very, very short period of time, whether it was a paint batch mistake or what, or a special run, we're not sure. But she is very rare and hard to come by. Found her at an antique show um, many years ago. And you can see the regular chestnut is a much darker chestnut, but the telltale is that the regular chestnut has just a blaze where the sorrel mare has the bald face. This is a fun one. This is a bit of hobby history. Um, she is my first nightlight. She is on a base and um, you can see from the hallmarks of the regular uh, nightlights, she has the switch and she has the hole in her belly. I bought her from a collector um, over in California and she was actually featured in Just About Horses many years ago. So um, I still have that edition of Just About Horses that she was in, but she was, I love nightlights and lamps and all the oddball stuff. So she was my first nightlight and so she has a place of honor in the collection. This is another fun one. Love the hobby history stories. This is the family Arabian mare in the showcase. So originally Briar released their horses and you would buy them in cardboard boxes with just an outline illustration of the horse. But consumers like to actually see the piece that they want, that they're actually going to buy. So Briar started experimenting with these with with a type of box so that you could see the horse inside so this is the alabaster family arabian mare she has the large blue ribbon sticker the original um, box manual inside she has a little strip of paper inside that says number eight alabaster um, this box has never been opened before i bought her at briarfest years ago from a collection sold by ron and sherry lewis and it was a collection that was owned by a Briar dealer. So the dealer had lots of fun stuff, lots of old stuff, lots of original stuff in boxes, a lot of rare pieces. But this is my only showcase piece. And at the, you know, I didn't have one and I love the unusual in the boxes. So she was my purchase from that collection. And so um, love all of that as well as love the rare stuff as well as the stories that go with it. So we've reached the end of shelf four. We'll move, oh, no, shelf three. We'll move on to shelf four next week. Catch you later.